From birds tricking others to raise their kids, to vampire butterflies, here are 10 animals that do really weird things. Number 10. Vomiting water. Pufferfish are famous for their ability to inflate and their somewhat slow and clumsy swimming style. There are about 120 different species of pufferfish, and since they are kind of slow, their only means to deter predators is to make themselves as big as possible. They don't do this by sucking in air, but by quickly ingesting huge amounts of water and turning themselves into a big ball that nobody is able to swallow. People familiar with pufferfish, or that have seen them in an aquarium, will start to notice that sometimes their pufferfish will squirt water at them. But why? Are they playing? Are they scared? Some people think it's a feeding response. They might squirt water in exchange for food. Both puffers and triggerfish will also blow water on their food with powerful jets that turn the food over. A famous meme came out with a pufferfish seeming to vomit water. On March the 6th, 2019, the website Tokyo Web published an article entitled Non-Toxic Pufferfish in Hot Spring Water. The article included a photograph of the fish spitting up spring water. It's hard to know what exactly was going on, but it's probably not good since the pufferfish has blown itself up and is now releasing water. Hopefully it's not going to get eaten. Pufferfish will also of course have to release the water at some point when they get caught so fishermen will hold them in their hands until they release the water, making a sort of vomiting sound. Number 9. Lazy Parent Cuckoo Birds It's time to meet the planet's laziest and perhaps most clever mother. She is of course the cuckoo bird, and she is probably one of the most creative parents alive. The phenomenon is known as brood parasitism, and basically it means the cuckoo bird is a parasite. You see, when the cuckoo bird is about to lay eggs, she goes in search of another nest to leave her eggs in. She has to go on scouting trips to find a nest of another species she knows will be a good parent for her baby birds. Once she targets a nest, there is basically nothing the surrogate parent can do to stop her. Cuckoo birds are incredibly well adapted to being brood parasites, and it works in this disturbing and creative way. When the cuckoo birds hatch in their step parent's nest, they do it a little bit earlier than the other eggs. This will make them stronger, louder, and bigger than their would-be siblings. Because the most demanding baby birds get fed more, they have a stronger chance of surviving. It can be hard for the mother birds to tell which of the tiny birds is hers, and so the cuckoo chicks will get treated the same as the other babies. In effect, the cuckoo bird's babies will be stronger than the other babies in the nest, so they will get fed more and the other babies will perish. It's a bird-eat-bird -bird world out there, and the cuckoo mother is not going to put another species' babies ahead of her own. Sometimes, the mother cuckoo bird will even poke holes in the eggs of the host's nest when she leaves her own, ensuring only her babies are the ones to be fed. Now that's a really sly and underhanded strategy, but the animal kingdom is a rough and wild place. Number 8. Backward running mole rats. Yes, mole rats are some of the most disgusting creatures on the planet. The naked mole rat looks like a failed lab experiment that lost all its hair. They have unsightly, wrinkly skin, yellow fangs and beady eyes that almost look villainous. However, these animals do some incredible and very strange things. Their evolutionary traits are absolutely amazing. Not only do they live their entire life underground without the need for much oxygen, but they even have excellent hygiene. Inside a mole rat's burrow, you will find an actual bathroom, which is something that you can't say for most animals. They dig a specific tunnel strictly for use as a toilet. If that's not hygienic for an animal, I don't know what is. Compare that to most other wild animals, who just go whenever and wherever nature calls. Additionally, naked mole rats can run backwards just as fast as they can run forwards. Imagine breaking into a full sprint completely backwards with the same raw speed you get when running forwards. It's simply unbelievable. For just one more strange habit of the naked mole rat, they can move their incisors independently of each other, just like a pair of chopsticks. Again, imagine being able to move your two front teeth individually and separately. And if those weird facts weren't enough, there's still one more. You might not believe it, but apparently they can barely feel pain. These critters are some of the toughest around, and they don't even react to being burned with acid. Could you imagine that kind of set of abilities? It seems almost superhuman. Which of the naked mole rat's talents would you most like to have? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Number 7. Vengeful Crows Crows have been harbingers of darkness for a very long time. There is nothing spookier than hearing a crow call in the dark of night while you're walking alone. And while ravens may be larger and more ominous than crows, crows have a very strange habit of seeking revenge on those who have done them wrong, making them far more terrifying than any other bird. This all has to do with the crow's exceptional memory. Crows can recognize a human face. That's right, it doesn't just know that you're a person, but it knows your face and who you are, and it probably even knows where you live. That's more than any government intelligence agency can say, and crows are significantly more likely to hold a grudge. They don't forgive or forget. 
If you have ever been rude to a crow perhaps, by throwing a rock at it or trying to kick it, the crow is going to remember you. The downside for you is that crows can communicate with other crows, and if the crow recognises your face and perceives you as a threat, it will let the other crows know. It might even get other crows involved to heckle you in an attempt to make you leave the area. This could result in you basically being harassed by a murder of crows. Why do you think a group of crows is called a murder? Well, it's not for being nice and friendly, that's for sure. Number 6. Rock Eating Crocs Crocodiles like to eat rocks. Yes, it's a pretty strange habit. Rocks don't have any nutritional value, and they certainly don't get digested very easily. I certainly wouldn't eat any, and I hope you wouldn't either. There are not too many animals that would go out of their way to actually eat rocks, but while this is a strange behaviour for this prehistoric lizard, crocodiles don't eat rocks for the taste. They eat rocks because the stones help them with their basic digestion, according to research. By eating rocks, the crocodile will help crush and grate its food already in its stomach. Human stomachs don't work the same way, so don't try this at home. However, this strategy is especially good for crocodiles who eat very large meals, or animals with tough bones and shells, like turtles. The rocks help break everything down within the croc's stomach, so it can be easily digested. Plus, having rocks in the crocodile's stomach will make it feel full. At least that part makes sense. With a bunch of rocks clunking around in there, it's going to be a full belly no matter how much actual food makes it through. Though I would be worried about not getting enough nutrients if I were the crocodile. Number 5. Chickens and the T-Rex There are some unlikely cousins, but family is family. This one is a little less of a strange habit and more of a strange relationship. When you think about the infamous Tyrannosaurus Rex, who do you think its closest relative is? Is it the elephant? Is it the crocodile or the Komodo dragon? Perhaps a shark or an iguana? According to researchers who study genetics and evolution, the chemical structure found in proteins preserved inside the Tyrannosaurus Rex bone most closely resembles the chemical structure of a chicken. Basically, dinosaur DNA equals chicken DNA. The closest relative to a T-Rex is a modern day chicken. When you eat scrambled eggs for breakfast in the morning, you are eating the closest living thing we currently have to real life dinosaur eggs. This strengthens the long held theory the dinosaurs are the ancestors of birds, and that through the past 70 million years the ferocious Tyrannosaurus Rex has slowly evolved, and some of its descendants eventually did turn into the clueless clucker, the hungry and slightly obnoxious modern day chicken. And yes, this is based on real scientific studies published in real scientific journals. And yes, the actual science is a bit more complicated than a slow evolution. As different environmental conditions changed the world around the dinosaurs, some of their descendants gradually got smaller and smaller, gained feathers over scales, and started clucking instead of roaring. Now that's a family reunion I couldn't imagine going well, could you? Number 4. Vampire Butterflies There is nothing more peaceful than watching beautiful butterflies fluttering around the garden in the springtime. Butterflies are the very epitome of purity and kindness. Or are they? If you have never ventured into the darkest depths of the jungle, you have probably never seen the dark side of butterflies. While these vividly colourful insects are certainly appealing to look at, they are actually wild insects just like the rest of them. Some species of these fantastic creatures are also vampires. That's right, butterflies, like mosquitoes, will drink other animals' blood and not think twice about it. Of course, butterflies can't actually cut you open to drink your blood, but because of their nutrient needs, butterflies are greedy to suck up moisture anywhere they can get it. This includes the blood from your wound and the tears from your eyes. You may have never thought of it before, but your blood contains loads of minerals and nutrients that almost any living organism would be happy to eat. Butterflies are one of these organisms. Not only will they drink your blood, which is full of proteins, but they will even attempt to consume nutrients from feces. Disgusting, but there are nutrients everywhere, and animals who want to get at them. Number 3. Blind Platypuses Of course, you knew there was going to be some discussion of the weirdest animal wandering around today. And of course, it's the platypus. Platypuses are unquestionably strange animals. They are mammals, but they lay eggs. They look like beavers, but they're not, and they swim through the water like happy otters. Pictures of platypuses on the internet often make them look much bigger than they are, but in reality platypuses are only about the size of a house cat. They have dark brown fur, they are mostly waterproof, and they swim through the water with their eyes closed. You would think the platypus would keep its eyes open while swimming through the water so it could see where it was going, but it doesn't. It has a strange habit of submerging itself in water and then closing its eyes and ears while it swims around hunting. It actually uses its bill to hunt, since its bill has electroreceptors that can pick up small electrical signals sent by edible animals as they move around underwater. This allows the platypus to find worms and shrimps and eat them even while it swims around with its eyes squeezed shut. If the tail of the blind platypus feeling its way towards dinner doesn't make any sense to you, you're not alone. I thought this was baffling, but now I want a duck-billed platypus as a pet. Would you want one? Let me know in the comments section below. Number 2. The Assassin Bug The Assassin Bug is the coolest bug you have never heard of. With a name like that, it has to be doing something unique. 
This bug is half assassin, half mercenary, and 100% menacing. Not only does the assassin bug kill and eat its prey, but it stacks their corpses on its back and walks around with dozens of dead bugs stacked on its shoulders like some kind of gruesome trophy. Like an alien in a horror movie, first it impales its prey, then it eats them from the inside out, and lastly it attaches the hollowed corpses to its back. And while you would think even the notorious assassin bug would only need to carry a few corpses on its back to make its point, it actually piles an outstanding number of dead victims onto its back to scare away possible predators. There is no better armour than your own victims strapped to your body, and no better deterrent for potential enemies. This also serves as a sort of camouflage for the assassin bug. The assassin bug typically eats termites, ants, bees, and anything else it can sink its fangs into. But the weird behaviour of wearing its victims earns it a top place as one of the strangest and most rugged creatures on planet Earth. What do you think? Is this trophy hunter the toughest, most terrifying creature for its size? I think so, but leave a comment and let me know your opinion. Number 1. The Tongue Thief The Cymothoa exigua is a parasite that literally steals tongues. Not only does this parasite steal tongues, but it actually eats tongues and replaces them as itself. Does that sound unbelievable? The details are even stranger. Basically, this parasite will target a fish, infiltrate its gills, latch onto its tongue, consume the tongue, and then replace the fish's tongue with itself. This absolutely bizarre exchange goes on without the fish becoming aware of its victimhood, and it ends up leaving the fish with a fully functioning tongue. The parasite acts as the fish's tongue to grind food just like a normal tongue would. This is the only example of a species in the animal kingdom replacing the function of an organ. Think of it like if a parasite crawled into your body, ate your lungs, and then started to breathe air for you. It's absolutely bizarre. According to marine biologist Rick Brusker, the only fish that gets its tongue completely devoured and replaced as an organ that operates 100% is the rose snapper. The parasite does not steal other fish's tongues, draining their blood and replacing them, but the rose snapper gets the worst of it. I don't know whether to be more disgusted or impressed. Which of these animals deserves the title of strangest? Tell me in the comments below, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another amazing video.